Hey everyone, so I'm down here currently in the basement with the Kenmore dehumidifier again and um, unfortunately we're having a little bit of a problem. Uh, not the dehumidifier itself, like you know the compressor, the fan, that's all working fine, but we're having a problem with the humidistat here. Uh, let me see if he'll do it. Now of course now it works. Now what's been going on is um, this hasn't really been working correctly for I'd say a few months. Um, like I know a couple times when it was running I would turn the knob to off, nothing happened. It would just continue to run. And sometimes you'd have to turn it uh, around, exercise it a little bit to get it to work properly. And at one point, um, I did that just a few times, and it still didn't respond. But in this case, it did. So I think, unfortunately, the humidistat is having issues. But luckily, I was able to find a replacement, and Jay did help me find this as well. Um, you can see it has a lot more plastic, of course. Um... The sticker does say, um, if it focuses, give it a minute, Davidson, uh, I think that's North Carolina, USA. So this could be a USA replacement, I don't know, but there is a lot more plastic. But um, it does have a good, you know, contact sound when I turn the knobs, so we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully uh, this will fit inside. And uh, what we'll do in the meantime is let's unplug it and uh, open it up. Okay, and here it is. This is a pretty um, familiar sight to you guys. Um, really doesn't look too bad since I last cleaned it. The compressor isn't too dusty, fan doesn't look too dusty, so that's good. Uh, basement is still pretty clean. Um, I did see this over here, though. Um, I think this pipe insulation has just had it. This used to be around here somewhere, so maybe I can patch it on uh, temporarily or um, and just use some duct tape for now, but... This insulation is really going to have to get reworked. I think it's like the adhesive stuff. Um, I don't know, Jay, next time you're here, you want to uh, do a project on this? But yeah, this has fell off here. So this insulation is as old as the dehumidifier, which will be uh, 32 years old now this year. So um, yeah, I guess it's definitely lived its life, but we'll see what we can do about that. Anyway, looking at the humidistat here, um, I think it will work. Um, here's the uh, new one with the old one. And... Um, the knob is right there, the keyway does seem to match just about, and the wire connectors are kind of here and here. Now, I think this keyway might sit a little bit, I mean you can see it's a different position below, but that doesn't really matter. I think this may sit a different position in the hole, but if you look over here, they do give you some adjustments it looks like, to sit, like you know, in case um, if it's too high you can put it down here or something, so I think if I put the screw here, this will this new one will come down and be centered in it, so I think that will actually um, work for it. And both keys here are the same size, and I tried putting the knob on; it fits perfectly, so that's good. So um, yeah, I think uh, I think this should work out. So let me take the old one out and see what I can do with this one. So comparing the old to the new here, um, it looks like um, it's very similar in design. Just this obviously has a lot more metal. And, um, from what I can see on the new one, the old one has the same thing. There's like this, um, flexible stuff in there. You see that? Now, I don't want to touch it, but I mean, I'm guessing that flexible stuff is, or tape, if you want to call it, is how it senses humidity. You know, I'm not too sure. You know, forgive me. I'm not too familiar with terms here, so I don't quite know what you're supposed to call that. But it looks like this one has the same thing. It's just kind of more covered. It's, it's in those two slots. Maybe you can kind of see the white coloring. So... I don't know if maybe that stuff just wore out over time because, you know, how old this is, but, um, uh, at, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Look at this. Let me see if that focuses. Made in Taiwan. Ha! <laughs> Imagine that. And look at that. It, it's made by a Honeywell. Oh, that Honeywell's a pretty cool brand. Um, all right. So this is the old one, and, um, this one pretty much has the same stuff, and, I mean... From what I can see, these screw holes here... Which ones are they? Right here. Let me flip this back around. Um, these are going to fit. They're the, they're the same space apart and um, same spot. But like I said, this one's a little bit higher. But what I did see was I can tilt this down more to center that with the hole. And if that works out, this should be fine as far as I can tell. And I also meant to say in the packet, they also gave me a new um, mounting bracket here. This one's a little bit longer, but uh, let, let me show you. Um, it's longer in the sense of this way, but as you can see, it still has the screw hole 
and the hole for the pan full light and for the humidistat. So it looks like it would still work, but I'm going to see if I can use this existing one um, to see if that'll work correctly. And if it does, great. If not, I got the uh, stuff here, and this will fit just fine. But So what, what I'm going to do now is let's... Um, Let's uh, attach this one to the bracket and see how it goes. Hopefully everything will work okay. Okay, and I think I think we are in good shape here. Um, I just tested it on here. Let me move it up here for a minute. And if you look, if I put both the... It's going to be hard to see on camera. Give me a second here. There it is. If I put both the screw holes in the bottom slot, as you can see, that thing is pretty much centered through the hole. So this bracket's going to do just fine. So if I put this new humidistat on these bottom holes here, uh, that's going to work perfectly. I mean, looking at that, that is perfectly centered. I really like how that works. So, right, so what I'll do is let me get the uh, humidistat screws and put them right in that spot right there. Okay, and here's the uh, new humidistat in place. Uh, you can see I have, I have it screwed into the uh, bottom slots there. And then if you look at the thing here... That looks pretty good. I mean, this is just a tad bent, but I remember Jay and I straightening it out a little bit. That looks really good. I'm really glad how that came out in position. And then just, just to show, here's the humidistat knob. Slide that in. Carefully. Oh, that, that fits beautifully. Oh, yeah, very nice. And uh, you know what? Let me get a temporary fix for this uh, insulation here. So this is basically the best it's going to get. Um, it is very flexible, and I was able to, you know, like, uh, what do you call it, uh, r r uh, wrap it around some. So it'll, it does cover the pipe, but this insulation has definitely had it. Going to have to, going to have to look into this. Right now it feels like, um, you know the, uh, the Airheads candy? That, that's kind of what this feels like right now. It's a really, like, flexible kind of thing, but definitely, like, on its way out, so I'll see what I can do. This is just stuff, um, you know, from, from the copper. I checked all over the compressor. No rust, nothing, so that's good. And everything in here looks good, so that, that's a good temporary fix for now. And here's the hu new humidistat. Um, knob on just for testing purposes. Wires went back on easily, and I was very careful with these screws because since this humidistat is mostly plastic on the outside, I didn't want to crack it, so I, um... I put them on just snug. As a matter of fact, these humidistats are actually pretty available. I was surprised. So it's very nice to see that a simple control for these vintage dehumidifiers still exists. So I'm happy to see that. So, all right, let's go over here and um, let's turn the knob. That started up no problem. Very nice. And it's currently, um, like roughly, uh, 67 degrees in here. I just know. That started up beautifully. So, yeah, when the old humidistat was acting up, I was like, I'm probably going to have to replace that. But thankfully, it was readily available. And I did find it, um, originally, but Jay was able to find a lower price one for me. So, Jay, thank you again. Uh, yeah, this is doing very well. Compressor feels okay. This is, uh... Oh, yeah, that's hot. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, the evaporator. The evaporator still looks pretty clean. I'm happy to see that. Nice and cool. Um, no ice, so that's good. Yeah, this is looking really good. So, I'm glad it was a simple fix, and... The thing with the old humidistat was, this thing was just running continuously, like, all the time, and, you know, one, that's more wear and tear, and two, that's more electricity usage, because I think this dehumidifier uses about, like, well, it's cooler here in the basin, so I'm going to say roughly 400, like, high 400s to low, um, let me say it again, high 400s to low 500s in watts. So, not the worst, but if it runs all the time, that will add up, so, especially in the summertime with the air conditioning going. That sounds pretty good. This really isn't all that dirty from the last time I cleaned it. I'm happy to see that. There is a little bit of dust on the fan, but I can clean that off um, when I turn this off again and uh, put the uh, panel back on. And I'm sure you guys will want to see uh, it auto reassembled, so we'll do that for you. But good, I'm just glad that this um, this is working well. This, from last time, if you remember, this hasn't advanced any, so I'm happy about that. It's been pretty dry for the most part, so that's good. Um, and it's just surface rust. If you get some um, sandpaper on there, it comes right off.
Yeah, this is doing really good. Oh yeah, doing great. And there is water in the pan. Okay, so let me, um, I'm going to let this run for a little while, then I'll turn it off, put the cabinet back on, and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, everybody, and here it is, all back together again. Uh, really, uh, installation was fine. This, this was centered beautifully when I put the front panel back on. The knob went right through on there, and just so you can hear, I have it unplugged right now. You can hear it. Just give it a couple of exercises, can't hurt. Okay, so let's plug it back in, and we'll set it to four, like I normally do for the summertime. All right. And here we go. A little focus. Okay. That sounds awesome. <laughs> right there on four. And there you guys have it. Dehumidifier is running great with the new humidistat. I'm very glad I was able to find a replacement for it because I didn't want this running constantly all the time and the humidistat was definitely giving problems, but really even with all that, still runs great as you can as you can hear. Compressor is a little bit more settled now, sounds happy, fans running. And for the old humidistat, I really don't think there's much I can do with this unfortunately, but I'm not gonna throw it out or anything because you know, Jay, next time you're here, maybe you'd like to take a look at this. If you check this out, um, right there, Whirlpool Corporation. So, yep, uh, Whirlpool was making Sears Kenmore stuff back then. <clears throat> and just made in Taiwan. That was pretty funny to see. So, we'll hold on to this and maybe Jay take a look at it. But I don't think there's much I can do in terms of repairing this. But maybe a cool thing to look at. But anyway, guys, there you go. Brand new humidistat on the dehumidifier. It's running great. Um, like I said, compressor sounds great, fan sounds great, revving up very nicely after I did all that oiling, and it's doing good. So hopefully this should cycle on and off. I won't have an update video on that, but maybe I'll, I'll put a, um, a community post or something, and I'll let you guys know how the dehumidifier is doing with this new humidistat. So there it goes. Continues to live on once again. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.